on the third day of Christmas, your true love me gave to you this, uh... <laughs> Melissa, shut up, like, honestly. Your girl is back with another 12 days of Christmas makeup look. <laughs> Welcome back to another 12 Days of Christmas. I spared you guys the pain of having to listen to me sing. I'm not a singer, guys. I am loving this series so much. Sitting here in silence doing my makeup has been very therapeutic for me. I don't know why. Usually it doesn't go that way at all, but maybe because it's become a part of my morning routine now, it is so soothing, and I love bringing you guys these looks. Sticking with that same theme and sharing a lot of my peers in the beauty industry using their products, as well as drugstore. I wanted to ensure I included some affordable items in these videos, not just all high-end. And also, I just wanted to make sure that they're easily accessible to you guys. I know that's not the case everywhere in the world, but by including drugstore, if you guys are in a pinch and you're like, oh, I really love that look, I wanna create it today, hopefully you can just run out and grab these items. Um, I love ColourPop, they're affordable, great quality, but I think you have to order a lot of their stuff online. So I wanted to make sure that it is true drugstore items like Maybelline and L'Oreal and, um, como se llama? Milani. <laughs> Mil Milani. Is that even an Italian brand? I don't know. I have to hit up Nicole Consilio. But um, yeah, I hope you guys are digging this look. I really enjoyed it. I love it so much. I was trying to keep it all matte. I'm trying to do a variety of looks with these 12 days of Christmas, not keep it all the same. But your girl couldn't help and add a little bit of a highlight. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. Starting with the eyes today because I'm gonna be doing a winged liner and ooh, your girl is a little rusty. Although I've gotten a lot better with the eye liner from House Labs. It is honestly truly as easy as they say it is. Um, and to prep my eyelids, I'm going to be using my number one eyeshadow primer hack, L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation, even though I'm gonna be using a different foundation on my face. I'm gonna go ahead and press on with my sponge. And I'm gonna set that brow bone with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in shade number dos. And then the brush I love using for this is an LH306 brush. So for today's eyes, I'm gonna be using the One Palette from Lawless. If you are someone who is really paranoid about wearing makeup all day long, especially with harmful ingredients being in your products, this is a great everyday eyeshadow palette because she makes or she, she formulates every product in her, oops, missing a fingernail. She formulates all of the products um, in her brand to have clean ingredients so you can feel confident using this neutral everyday eyeshadow palette in your everyday. I love that. So I am going to start with Play Cool. Just kind of go heavy with it in the crease. Whenever I do a wing liner, the rest of my look, like eyeshadow, everything is so simple, which is why I rarely do wing liner looks because they will all look the same. And then I'll get that beautiful comment <laughs> that says, all your looks are the same because wing liner looks for me are always like very classic. A color in the crease, maybe a little more on the outer edge and then a wing. And that's just the way I like my wing liner. So I'm really pressing it into this outer edge, get the color on there, and then I'm gonna blend it into the crease. Instead of continuing to blend with the same brush that has the shadow on it, I'll pick up the same brush but clean and just further buff out the edges. That way I can go a little more aggressive with it versus trying to kind of like tiptoe around this color to keep it looking subtle. And then with my tiny Real Techniques brush that you guys know I love. I don't know what it is about this brush, I just freaking love it, okay? I'm gonna take DTR and pack it onto that outer V and then plunge right up against the lash line for like a really nice smoky look. A smoky wing, if you will. So packing that on first, blending, and then going with the black eyeshadow. And blending that black eyeshadow with a smaller brush, this is a Smith 247. And because I wanna keep this eye look very, very matte, I want the inner corner to also be matte but highlighted. And yes, that is a thing. You don't always have to have a sparkly inner corner highlight. You can use a matte white like this and it'll give you that same highlighting effect. So I'm gonna put first base on that inner corner. So I like to really pack on the color and then buff it out so it doesn't look so stark white because I don't want it to actually be like that highlighted but I do want there to be like a little dimension there. See that little difference in me? I have to pee so bad, which I should probably take a pee break before I do this liner, but I'm just gonna go for it because I'm on a roll and I don't wanna break that streak. So 
I'm using the House Labs eyeliner, the absolute best. If you are not good at eyeliner, seriously, give it a try. I think it's available on Amazon. I think it's their best seller for a good reason. All right, I'm gonna do my wing on this side. I always like to start in the middle and then glide it out. I know that's like different than what a lot of other people do, but for my eye shape, it tends to work versus creating the wing first. So I feel like this way I kind of just guide my eye shape and then connect the wing afterwards like that. And then I fill it in and it's that easy. Done. I'm gonna do the other side off camera. And the only time you will catch me wearing a strip lash, I just find them so uncomfortable, you guys. Like my eyes are already easily irritated and with the strip lash, Forget it. But the only time I do do a strip lash is when I have a winged liner on because if not, my lashes just disappear into the winged liner. So I'm gonna be using Crispy's new makeup line called Unscripted Beauty or makeup, I don't know if she's gonna expand to a whole makeup line, but she released her lashes. These are them right here. I do like to cut my lashes in half and I actually get like double the use because sometimes I can use both ends since I like a very minimal lash and it works to use the inner part to the middle and the middle to the end. So I think the ones I'm gonna to toss on are called Legendary. So I'm just gonna cut it in half and then pop these suckers on. I got carried away and I forgot to show you guys me putting them on, but I use these little tweezers from Belore. And then I just kind of pinch it. I also forgot to put mascara on before I got, I got so carried away just now. So I'm gonna to have to put on mascara afterwards and just kind of keep it to like the base of the lashes. But there we go. I think I'm going to just tight line with a black liner in the waterline. Um, I'm gonna use one of these Maybelline Infallible, oh wait, L'Oreal, oh, apologies. <laughs> Perdóname. Infallible Longwear Eye Pencil by L'Oreal. Every time, never fail. Did I drop something in my last two videos? <laughs> and if I didn't, it was bound to happen. So I'm gonna use this to tight line and then I'm gonna let these lashes settle in before I add mascara. So then I will meet you guys zoomed out for the face. Skin, I want to keep it really, really fresh since the eyes are matte. I guess I could do like a matte face also. I'm gonna do a combo. So I used this on my Instagram and like raved about it and then I don't think I ever used it in a YouTube video. It's the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Protective Makeup Sunscreen Broad. What? Sometimes I read the whole thing and I'm like, what are you doing? It has SPF 50. Um, it looks like this. I think it was compared a lot to the It Cosmetics uh, full coverage CC cream that they have. And I remember using it and absolutely loving it over summer. So I think I'm gonna use it today. And then for concealer, use something that's full coverage to kind of like balance out the look. I'm probably gonna be using Shape Tape. So I'm using the shade 220 Natural Beige. I like to apply this product with my fingers first. So I'm gonna use this as my base, blend it in with my fingertips because it has a really nice creamy consistency like a tinted moisturizer but with coverage. And then I'm gonna take my sponge and blend it out. So like I said, I'm using Shark 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 Tape. How many times have, has that been said? I'm using Tarte's Shape Tape in Light Medium Sand. Going in with a little extra right there just to define the cheeks since the foundation is darker and then blending it out. To see how everything balanced out. I feel good now. The skin looks so amazing and fresh. Like I wish you guys could see it in person. I love, love this. Like top two drugstore face like complexion products. Infallible 24 La, la, la. Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation from L'Oreal and Urban Dream Dream Urban Cover from Maybelline. Wow, can I get my words straight? Should probably stop drinking caffeine during these videos, to be honest. All right, so I'm gonna lock this all in place. Laura Mercier Translucent and uh, <laughs> bronzer and blush and highlight. And actually before I do the rest of the face, I'm just gonna apply the same eyeshadows to the lower lash line. So I'm just gonna copy what's in the crease and outer edge. And do my brows too. And I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in natural brown. Oh my God, you guys. Remember Ermagerd? What happened to Ermagerd? I am loving the way my makeup is looking and uh, I'm gonna bronze next because I don't know how much I wanna highlight. I don't know if I wanna keep it really, really matte for my matte lovers out there. 
So I'm gonna go and bronze next. And I'm gonna be using, I want like a really, really light bronze. So I'm gonna be using this Jouer Light to Medium Duo Sunlight and Suntan. It's got two shades in here. Um, I love kind of mixing the two or using the lighter one on the sides of the nose. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. The skin just looks so good. Like seriously, that Maybelline Urban Dream Cover is amazing. All right, I'm gonna take this large brush and just kind of buff in this bronzer and I can't resist myself. I'm gonna go with the highlight. I'm gonna keep it drugstore. Let's see what I have in this drawer. Ooh, a little bit of a rhyme there. We haven't used her in a while. Let's give Maybelline Master Chrome. I'm trying to use as many affordable products in case you guys wanna run out and create this look. It's kind of like a combo, like some expensive, some not expensive. I'm gonna be using um, Master Chrome in Molten gold. I'm gonna use a different brush today. I want to see I've been loving I'm obsessed with those Instagram videos where they like Sweep the highlighter onto the face and it's like oh, you know in time out I'm gonna try doing that with this precision blush brush from Smashbox. I feel like it's got a nice Density and shape to it. Let's see if I get the same effect. I don't regret using this highlighter. Oh Yeah, yes, that's what I was hoping would happen This might be my new brush Do we get on this side ready ready? satisfying see how it's tapered so you can flip it on its side and just use the end for the nose and the cupid's bone I haven't added mascara yet so I'm going in with fix plus a very very much holy grail item I have so many sprays but I will always go back and buy fix plus something about it just does an amazing job at melting your makeup into your skin and making it look fresh now that I've missed it myself, I'm gonna use this Voluminous Lash Paradise on my lashes, keeping it more so towards the base on my real lashes so that I can hopefully save these strip lashes for another day. Normally, if you wanna reuse your lashes, I would recommend adding mascara and then your lashes, but I got a little excited. And then always uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Brown Black on the lower lashes. If you have long lashes like me, this really helps prevent it from smearing underneath your eyes and it looks a lot more natural because it's brown black. And another little trick is you can always take a clean spoolie brush like this, like that, and lift, go underneath the lower lashes. It'll help remove any excess mascara and lift them up so that they're not dragging underneath your eyes either. I didn't mean to do the blush this late in the game, but I got like carried away because the skin was just looking so good. But I know that the lip is gonna be this Kristen Dominique uh, lip in the shade Plumberry. Like how pretty is that lip color? It's gonna look so good with this. So I like to match my cheek color to my lip color. They have to have the same undertone. So this one right here, I'm gonna use the color Sunset Passion. Ooh, okay, that is a lot of blush. It's not like the color I was expecting it to be. It looks like really red in the packaging. But it's, I mean, my skin tone turns a lot of things brassy, so that's also a problem, but. Let me add the lip and then further fix it. <laughs> a solution for this is always my Charlotte Tilbury powder. If the blush ever looks too intense or not blended, I just pick this up with a large fluffy brush like the one I'm currently using and I buff over it and it makes it look a lot softer. Lip, I'm gonna be using this lippy pencil from ColourPop. It's from the Bretman collection. The color is called Dukes. And then the lip color I already mentioned. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss that on and I'm hoping that the blush won't stand out too hard even though it looks off to me right now. I wish it was matte and I wish it was more dusty. Uh, to make this look more cool toned, I took an actual foundation powder that adds color. The Armani Neo Nude Fusion Powder, my absolute favorite. I went through so many of these when I was using it as bronzer. It's such a beautiful powder, but it created more of that dusty, cool tone look that I was going for with the blush. Look at that. Oh bam. We're good to go. Mm. 
The earrings are on, which means that is a wrap on today's look. You could honestly wear this as a bridal look. I don't know if any of you out there watching are getting married over this winter season and are going for more of like a snowy winter wonderland wedding, but I feel like this is really appropriate. You could easily swap out the lift, do a nude lip if you feel more comfortable doing that. Um, but the look is very cool toned and mostly matte, so I feel like this would go very well for a bridal look. I mean, it's something that I would wear, but I would pop on a red lip. Probably don't stop by NARS. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Just another little reminder for you guys, don't feel like you need to use everything to a T. You can easily find dupes and just use these looks as inspiration. Um, if you're like, I really wanna do a wing and a bold lip, use this as inspiration for your look. Don't feel like um, you need to use every single product. I am here to guide you guys in your uh, holiday festivities and hopefully make them a lot easier and a lot less hectic for you. So I hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying it. Give it a like. Wait, that's the same thing. I don't know what I'm saying. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, notification bell so you don't miss out on these 12 days of Christmas and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye guys. Mwah. <laughs> They do that all without any lipstick on my teeth? Yes, yes, okay. On the third day of Christmas. <laughs> Doing this series has been very therapeutic. therapeutic. <laughs> you guys, I'm so loopy. <laughs> I feel like I've been sitting here for like three days straight. If it's not the right undertone foundation, this is why I mix a lot. Melissa mix a lot. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs>